Hi everyone, I'm Gleb Bakhmadov and today I want to show you the GitHub Action VS Code plugin. So you can install it from your VS Code, just search for GitHub Action. Now there are a bunch of GitHub plugins, so just search for one by Christopher Schleiden. Uh, the important thing here is that not the syntax of the action, but if you scroll down you will see how it shows all the workflow status. So once you install it, you'll have to authenticate and make sure you log in into the GitHub. And then you'll have this icon. Right? So this icon shows you the, all the workflows for the current repository. So I have a couple of workflows defined. I have my CI deployed and the pretty workflow which correspond to the free workflows in this repository. So the deployed and prettier workflows are all good. The CI workflow actually failed on the last commit. So you can see the commit and when it has like, well, the type of a action that triggered the workflow. So if I click on this, it actually loads the corresponding action or workflow page. Let me go back. So you can also click and expand and see all the jobs in that workflow separately. So we can see that some of the tests fail. You can drill down into each test job and see, for example, the output from each step. So in this case, the Cypress test step failed. You can see the time step and you can see everything that the uh, job has performed. Now, one thing that's kind of bad is that the ANSI escape codes from the workflow are not correctly shown, right? We see the actual escape code, which makes actually looking at the test fairly very, very hard. You can see there is a failed test here, but we can't really understand why it failed. Well, because this is using the dashboard recording, I can uh, scroll up and I can see the URL. So I can click on the URL, it opens the dashboard, and it shows me all the spec files. In this case, there is one failed test. I can drill down, I can see when it started found. So it used to pass all the time before, and if I look at the screenshot, I can see, uh, well, nothing really, right? It all looks good. So what's the error here? Unexpected identifier. Okay, let's look at the screenshot. Well, you know, because I'm used to reading a lot of JavaScript code, I can see that this K, right, on this line, side get assertion table, is kind of weird, right? Let me... Uh, Think about it for a second, like there should not be K, like that makes no sense, but it would definitely cause unexpected identifier error. Okay, so probably this fails with this. So let me go back to the command line and let me look at the last commit that I've done. Oh, for some reason, I probably goofed and pressed K when VS Code had this file open, didn't notice it, and then save, and that's the problem. So this was a presentation of VS Code GitHub Actions plugin, but I think it's pretty cool and allows me from my local VS Code to immediately see how my commits uh, pass the CI or not.